Located in the middle of the driest area in sub-Saharan Africa, the Goba Beb Research and Training Center receives an average of only 28 millimeters of rain each year. Despite these harsh conditions, Goba Beb has plenty to offer. Goba Beb lies between three starkly different ecosystems, the Namib Desert's Dune Sea, the Gravel Plains, and the Kwisev Riverbed. These environments are what make Goba Beb so unique and we strive to minimize our negative effects on these surrounding ecosystems in everything we do. So please do remember to stay on the marked trails while exploring the center and pay attention to this video for important sustainability information. Goba Beb is known for its sustainability and has adapted to its environment by gathering energy from a strong desert sun. The first solar diesel hybrid system in Namibia is used to power everything at the center. During the day, the solar panels absorb sunlight to generate electricity. This energy is then stored in batteries, which are charged during the day to provide electricity at night. When people at the center use too much energy, the non-renewable diesel generator must turn on which releases harmful byproducts into the environment, so it is important to conserve energy during your stay. There are many ways in which you can conserve energy at the center. Here are some of the main conservation practices we hope you will follow while at GobaBed. Turn off all indoor and outdoor lighting when not in use. Unplug all unused appliances or turn off the outlet switches. Turn off your monitor when you are away from your computer. Make sure your refrigerator and freezer are shut tightly. In addition, please do not use toasters, hair dryers, or any other high voltage appliances. A large amount of solar power is used to pump the center's water supply into Goba Beb's iconic water tower, so water conservation is essential. Goba Beb conserves water through low flow shower heads and toilets. We encourage you to help us conserve water by being conscious of your water use, but remember to stay hydrated. All wastewater at the center passes through a trickle filter, and when everyone uses biodegradable shampoos, soaps, and detergents, the recycled wastewater will be clean enough to be reused in the garden. Besides harmful detergents, Fats and oils also have a negative effect on the trickle filter and the surrounding environment, so please dispose of them separately, not down the drain. At GobaBeb, we separate our recyclables into glass, plastic, paper, and metal, which are brought to Swakopmund to be recycled. All biodegradable waste is either used in the compost for the garden or is fed to the Tognar's goats. If you are interested in learning more about the Tognar, you can take a guided cultural walk to the nearby village. GopaBeb's primary focus is research and training, and is home to students and researchers alike, along with many long-term climate monitoring systems and labs that can be seen on our station tour. After your day in the sun, you can relax by the GopaBeb pool, which is covered when not in use to combat the high evaporation rates of the Namib Desert. In the late afternoon, the dunes are cool enough to walk on, providing a spectacular place to watch the sunset and see the stars. Once the sun is gone, the fun isn't over yet. You may choose to go on a scorpion walk. Now that you've had your fill of the desert creatures and sun, it's time for rest. There are many different accommodations available at Gobabeb. We have villas, clay houses, bungalows, caravans, and camping sites available. The GobaBeb Research and Training Center welcomes you to our oasis of learning. We hope you enjoy your stay.